Community members gathered today to remember a man killed by a hit and run driver at FDR Park. They're calling for more traffic safety measures in parks like speed bumps and speed limit signs. NBC 10's Karen Hua spoke with the man's family about what they want changed. Happy birthday, Mario, and I wish you were here. I want to hug you. I want to see you again, and I want you to be in my life because it was taken too soon. It was an emotional day remembering Mario Diadamo III, a lawyer from South Philly. Last August, while he was riding in the bike lane at FDR Park, he was hit and killed by a driver. Horrible, horrible, 37 years old. I should be planning a wedding, but instead I have to do a memorial for my son. Today would have been Mario's 38th birthday. So Mario's loved ones returned to the spot he died, installing this permanent ghost bike in his honor. A white bicycle marking spots around the city where cyclists were killed. And I don't know how many others might be killed if they don't do something about it. It's, it's a shame because no parent should lose their child. Mario's family was joined by others affected by traffic violence, all calling for better safety at Philly Parks. At FDR Park, there are currently a couple 25 mile per hour speed limit signs. There are traffic bumps, but no railing protections in the bike lane like on other streets of the city. Drivers go up to 40 miles per hour in this public space. Unfortunately, signs don't do a whole lot to slow people down when the road is built to go faster. According to Nicole Brunet at the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia, there were 126 traffic deaths last year. So far in 2024, nearly 60% of traffic deaths have been pedestrians. A few weeks ago, Mayor Sherelle Parker recommitted Philly to Vision Zero, the goal to reach zero traffic deaths by 2050. When a mother and family have to bury a child, that's the saddest day that you just don't ever want to feel. At FDR Park, Karen Hua, NBC 10 News.